Guys, a new iMac is finally here. If it looks like I just rolled out of bed, that's because I just did. All right, so the new iMac is out. Uh, it is not the redesign. I'm gonna throw that at you right now. It is not the redesign. However, we are getting a little bit more on top. A couple cherries thrown in here from Apple that we didn't think we're getting. There's a new nano texture, true tone display, 1080p webcam, studio quality mics on the regular iMac. Uh, really, it's starting to make the iMac Pro look kind of pointless. And then Apple also did some minor updates to the 21.5 and iMac Pro iMac models. But the 27 inch got a pretty serious upgrade today. So I wanna show you exactly what's new. All right, so first up, let's talk the baseline stuff, CPU, GPU options. It's 10th generation Intel chips. Uh, you can get up to 10 cores now in the iMac which is pretty good. Here's what that actually translates to, according to Apple. And then for the GPU options, got some fresh stuff from AMD in here. Uh, and then there's also twice the, the memory you can put inside of here. So I think up to 128 gigabytes now, which is just an insane amount of RAM. Not saying that it's not needed in some cases, it, it's just a lot of RAM. Now, honestly, what Apple's been able to do here with another Intel chip is pretty good, right? But uh, if you've been following the news closely, you know that there is something much, much bigger around uh, around the corner, really, that it could be coming as soon as next year. Now, keep in mind, you'll be waiting probably at least a year from now to get this, but Apple Silicon, Apple's own design chips. Uh, it's basically taking what's already in the iPhone and the iPad, getting rid of Intel and giving you this performance that already runs great in an iPhone. Like iPhone chips don't need to be cooled than the fastest chips uh, in the mobile industry or some of the fastest chips, period. And Apple's bringing that to the Mac at some point. Keep that in mind, you're not buying a bad chip. It's just there's, a, there's an even better chip that is coming sometime in the next year or two. And from what we're hearing, it's gonna be a significant upgrade. Finally, SSDs are standard across the board. Uh, and this is actually for the 21.5 inch iMac as well. This is a small update that Apple did there, uh, but the 21.5 inch iMac didn't actually like get an upgrade. So if you're like looking at that and you were really excited to get the 21.5 inch, um, it, I mean the, the 27 inch is where like the actual processor, GPU, internal upgrades are happening, but you can get an SSD now, no matter what you buy, which should have happened a long time ago, but it finally happened today. Can we pour one out for the 21.5 inch iMac? I just feel like I know my cousin in particular, he kept asking me like, when's the new iMac coming? When's the new iMac coming? And now it's here and there's no update. So I don't know why Apple does this sometimes. They'll just not update half the line. To me, the 21.5 inch iMac makes absolutely no sense to buy right now. Uh, it hasn't been updated. It's got 8th gen Intel chips. It's it's like Apple's basically saying we're going to phase this out. I don't get it personally, but that's where we're at with the 21.5 inch. I would only consider, if you're looking to buy a new iMac, the 27 inch alone. And for you security geezers out there, Apple's got the T2 chip inside of here, which is their own silicon that, that adds some security features to your Mac. It was on the iMac Pro. I think it was on a couple of the MacBook Pros and... Now you got it on the iMac 27 inch. Okay, that's like the, the, I don't know, the spec stuff, not the most exciting to me. Here's what I'm most excited about. The new display technology on the 27 inch. Uh, there's an option for nano texture, more on that momentarily, but Apple also added True Tone here. So True Tone's a feature on your iPhone, your MacBook, maybe even another Mac you've had in the past where it dynamically changes the color temperature of your display based on your environment. So if you're in a super reddish orange room with like tungsten light, then the screen itself, like a piece of paper would change to look a little bit more orange. It'll look slightly more orange as well. Uh, same if you're in a bluer, cooler environment. Really great. I It's one of those features you don't notice every day, but I love it. Like it, it is one of my favorite Apple features and that's on the new iMac. But bigger than that is the option it's not standard, so I think it's $500 extra, is a nano texture display. This is blowing my mind that Apple added this, because like if there's anything that's a pro feature, it's this. It's essentially something on the nanometer level for this display, where Apple has been able to fine engineer the reflectivity and glare of this display. So even if you're in a really sunny room or somewhere really bright, it's got this mattish texture, so it's gonna be super anti-glary. I ordered mine with it just because I really want to see what this looks like. I don't, I don't have 6K just for the pro display or whatever it costs, you know, right now, maybe in the future, but I, I can't wait to see it on an iMac. And again, this makes me question if Apple's bringing this to the regular standard consumer iMac, I don't, I don't know what that means for the iMac Pro. And there, there actually was a small iMac Pro upgrade. They made the 10 core variant standard. Um, 
I, it doesn't really mean that much. Like technically the iMac Pro also got an upgrade today, but it doesn't make sense to buy the, the iMac Pro to me when, when this just got updated today and it's way better. But that's not all. Again, taking stuff from the iMac Pro, we've got better speakers, better mics. <sighs> Can we get a round of applause for this one? Let's start the slow zoom. A 1080p FaceTime camera. Now, it's still only 1080p, but Apple, you know, maybe there's there, maybe the, the Zoom pandemic situation we got going out there. They're like, maybe we do need a better than 248K0P uh, camera. That's horrible. You know, they, the iMac, the MacBook, uh, they have horrible cameras inside of them for the front facing. And Apple upgraded it to 1080p. So I'm sure it's probably the one identical to what's already in the iMac Pro. Again, another similarity. The speakers I'm really excited to try out because I love the speaker system on the iMac Pro. And I think Apple's alluding that they've essentially taken that architecture since it's from the exact same body and put it inside of the iMac Pro. And then Apple's mics, uh, the, the iMac Pro microphone isn't that good, but if Apple took what they've done uh, either with the new iPad Pro that came out earlier this year or even with the 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro, like those studio mics sound actually good. Like I could record a bit on a video and you wouldn't really notice. So if Apple's done that again here, hey, Props to them, that's a pretty big deal. And I'm, I'm just happy that we got this iMac, right? This was supposed to be the redesigned iMac, right? And that's why I mentioned it straight up right away. Uh, I think it's pretty clear that with the 14 inch MacBook Pro that's on the horizon, the redesigned iMac with slimmer bezels and probably a whole bunch of other Mac stuff as well, maybe the reintroduction of the Mac book line, Apple is saving the biggest Mac updates in a decade for their own silicon. Now, at first I was like, of course, you know, all the rumors say that this iMac is gonna be the redesigned one. It's not, it, it looks identical to the 27 iMac from before, for, from the past, what, five, six, seven years now. So this isn't the big upgrade. And I can get excited about this and I am because it's finally here, but this is just a spec bump. You know, this is not redefining the iMac. It's if you're waiting for the iMac, Apple's finally got something out for you. It starts at $1,800 here in the US for the, the base new 27 inch iMac and then the nanotexture display, you know, the super fast processor, GPU, storage, RAM, that stuff all costs extra. But you do get like the studio quality mics and that stuff in every single computer. So are you guys gonna buy? You're gonna pick one of these up. I've got mine in order. I know I've said that three times, but I am genuinely excited for this because uh, I don't know, I just haven't been that impressed with my iMac Pro. Uh, I'm ready, ready to switch it up and try something different. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hope you learned something new. Drop a like if you did, hit subscribe for more. I've been Sam, and I, I will catch cool cats in my next video. And yeah, maybe I'll iron my shirt now that I'm done with work for the day. Because I know you guys have been saying, well, where's the shirt? It's not iron. Yeah, I know. Cool. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.